what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another POV as you can see it's a rainy day in the city I got my uh, 24 to 70 Sigma f 2.8 art lens we got the mist filter on and we're down in like the West Village I'm uh, a little bit nervous about putting the, the camera out in the rain because the last couple times it was a little bit nerve-wracking, stuff was going on, but sometimes it's worth the risk to get some cool shots in the rain, so we'll see what happens. But we got some nice uh, trees blossoming and stuff like that over here. First shot's always the worst. But yeah, we're in the West Village, so I kind of wanted to go by like the Brownstones and see what's up and get some cool shots. Haven't been down here in a bit. It seems like every single time I'm down in this area, it's always shitty weather or overcast. We'll see what we can find. Point eight. This apple here looks kind of cool. So yeah, f 2.8, two hundredth of a second. ISO 100. Oh, let me wipe the camera. Kind of like this frame here where we can get someone walking through it. Probably not gonna have. Oh wait, maybe. I had the camera up to my eye for that one, so you guys didn't get to see the whole shot get made, but. So the reason why I like this area of the city, besides just being kind of quiet and quaint, uh, one, architecture is cool. It's got an older vibe. Two, there's all these cool like corner buildings, and it always just makes for interesting compositions. I have the 14 um, 14 lens as well, but I'm gonna try to stick to the 24 to 70 for the most part. So we're gonna go to F5 here. feeling I'm just going to go rapid fire today with just all the umbrellas.
I kind of missed that shot. So yeah, like I said before, uh, we're at F5, ISO 200. I definitely gotta come back, I always say this, but I gotta come back here on like a really nice day. You know, evening, we got some cool shadows and stuff. This area is just really beautiful. Get a taxi coming around here. I don't really have a plan for where I'm going. I like all these older, old school looking spots. But these buildings during the summer when all the vines start growing will look really cool. So that'll be back on the list. But today it's like 45 degrees, cold rain. And also stay tuned towards the end of the video guys I'm gonna do the giveaway for the polar pro mist filter so one of you find lucky followers can get one of those
I could have took more time to frame that up. That was kind of a shitty shot. Oh, no. A car just pulled up right where I was going to take a shot. Oh, let's see. Maybe they move. I thought maybe get a cool reflection, but it's not really working out too well. This is a beautiful area though, with these houses. I mean, I could take the 14 mil. Oh, I'm standing in a ginormous puddle. What the fuck? If I get the 14 mil out, I can get a better picture of, of these buildings, but... Mercedes looks cool though. Camera is absolutely soaked. I've been putting it in my jacket like underneath like this. And I know I've gotten so many comments to people why don't you just get a rain cover or get a plastic bag and do that whole thing? I won't I won't do it guys. I won't I won't fucking do it. I know it sounds arrogant and naive, but I won't do it. The camera is supposed to be good in the weather. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because I'm a little nervous. But it should do its job. I got weather sealed lens, weather sealed camera. This shot right here looks really cool. I have my film camera with me in my bag and I kind of want to take this shot with the film camera. Got that old school vibe. I'm not taking out the film camera though, just to open up my bag and get everything wet. It's not worth. Might be able to get an alternate angle here.
So, just trying to do the old school run and gun street photography. I'm just walking on the move. I got my camera ready to go and just see what happens. That picture of the guy in the yellow jacket came out pretty sweet though. Umbrella here is kind of cool. She's by herself. All right, so I'm making my way to 9th Street where there is a subway. And um, you guys have probably seen this before on my POVs. Um, but it's like with all the piping up top and everything, it looks pretty sweet. I, I wanted to go back there and edit a different way. And I have the 14 mil, which I didn't have back then. Well, let's see if we can get this guy on the bike. This is the spot. I'm gonna get my lens changed and I'll be back. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're good. Oh. I wish I had my other lens out. Cause the shoes would look cool. I don't really feel like switching the lens again. F8, ISO 400. One hundredth of a second. door looks kind of cool. This is the same, this bike has been here for forever, like two years. Because I'm here. I'm gonna bring that down like F5. Let's get a little closer. This building is kind of cool too. I've gotten some good shots here, but same deal. I don't think I had the 14 when I did this, that POV.
No. Yes. I probably have to crop into that shot. Come on. This car is coming. I'm, I, I'm going full-blown like film photography approach to this and I've been playing around my film camera a lot more lately so I feel like that's also part of it but it's hard when you keep going to like very you know, similar locations are the same locations that you've been to before. Obviously, like, a time of day can change the setting or a scene of an image. But it starts getting difficult when you start taking pictures of the same stuff. And you gotta figure out a new way to do that. And shooting with the film camera has made me more patient because you only get 36 pictures per roll and then obviously you want to nail focus so you're there taking your time. Everything's manual. So I've become more patient and that's allowed me to see things a little bit differently. But also for some reason when you're shooting film there's like an aesthetic you're trying to achieve and you're trying to take pictures of you know older looking things or something that would make the image look like it's older than it is or maybe it was taken in a time period that it wasn't actually taken in I try to do that with my editing as well but Clean the lens a little bit. Dry off the camera. Car moved. Of course. So I'm gonna use that line right there to line me up with the building as a uh, form of directional pull for the image, AKA leading lines. I just wanted to say something different. Sounds smarter than I am. I don't know if I could Damn it, I missed the shot. The focusing joystick is being a little weird, I will I will say that. It's being a little funky.
But the camera's doing its thing, it's doing its job. It's windy, it's fucking cold. I'm calling it quits, I'm soaking wet. Alright guys, well, thank you for joining me along this rainy POV and checking out some, some cool photos. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe. Check out my Instagram, photo.trips. If you want to see my film work, you can go to Instagram at film.trips. And stick along for the end of this video so you guys can see who ended up winning the 5K giveaway. and. Just want to say thanks guys for checking out the content and just always commenting and being active i just appreciate everyone's thoughts and you know just seeing the the channel grow so thank you for 5k and to another 5k reaching 10 and let's keep it going so peace out and see you guys next time well thank you guys for tuning in to the POV got some cool shots in the West Village, so happy about that. Thank you for checking it out. Before I do the giveaway here, I just want to say thank you for everyone for liking, subscribing, checking out the content, just helping the channel grow. I just really appreciate everyone, you know, tuning in the stuff and reaching out and saying how much they've enjoyed the content and giving out pointers and all that good stuff. It's just nice connecting with the community. So thank you. So now for the giveaway. I got the mist filter here. Someone's gonna win. So I got a uh, website here that's gonna pick out the random winner. So let's see who's gonna win the filter here. 
So here we go. Malt Schultner. I don't know if that's your actual name or not, but uh, Schultner, you are going to get the mist filter. So congratulations. Uh, I'll reach out to you on Instagram so I can get your address, all that good stuff, shipping, and I'll be in touch with you soon. But thank you guys for entering the giveaway. I really appreciate everyone participating and checking out the content. So thank you again. Uh, peace out and have a good one.